Hey YouTube family, this is Crafty Kim here coming at you and um, hope everybody's having a blessed Friday. I hope everybody will have a great weekend as well. So I just have a couple of projects here that I wanted to share with you before they go out. So I did give you a preview of this, I believe, in another video. And I might finish it off with a little bit extra trim going out to here. I don't know why I didn't do it. I guess because I didn't want it to be too hard to open. But um, this is a recycle. And let's see why does it open up in here. It is a pie container. So at Boston Market, I asked the girl if she could give me an extra one of these little pie containers and she was kind enough to give me one and so I decided to use this to recycle it so and it's pretty strong I like the way it came out um, I wanted it to look more like a cake but with all the decorating on it I don't know if it even looks like a, like a cake anymore but I think it came out so super cute love all the trims and um, bows, especially this one. I think it came out really cute. And so that is that. And of course, it has this little container box to go with it. Acrylic box. And so super simple container. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to send this as an embellishment box and we'll send this out. This hopefully by tomorrow. So this right here is um, a box that I got from the Dollar Tree and it was originally, well, I covered almost of it, but it's originally this pink color here and I just took some fabric and just um, adhered it to the whole box, added some pearls as a stand and instead of having the top come off and the only problem that issue that I have with these boxes is that they come with a bow already attached to it and when you take off the bow it tends to rip the inside of the paper so that's the only issue and then I did have this duct tape that kind of matches it but if I would have put it on in, on the inside here it'll be hard to um, open and close and I didn't want that so unfortunately the person who receives is gonna have this um, damage to the box right there so sorry about that but yeah I just took some bows put it on the top some of um, lace ribbon made a bow out of it have my really LC image here more of these trims from my shop. I don't know what's going on with my printer, but my printer keeps making these streaks and the ink is completely full. I've aligned it. I don't know. It is kind of an old printer. Maybe that has to do with it, but for the most part, it's okay, the image. And that's basically it. Oh, so instead of having, like I, was, so like I was saying, instead of having the image come off, what I did was I glued down the back side of the cap so that way you can open and close this way instead of coming on and off. That makes any sense to you. In another video I will show you what I mean. So that's basically it and it has the dangle trims all the way around on the bottom and all the way around on the top. It's really cute. I don't think the camera does it much justice because it looks really really pretty in person. And I had made this box. I was laughing because um, I was watching a video from Olivia Hernandez. Hi, Olivia. And she is just a super uber talented um, woman. And she made a box that I believe she said she got from Michaels, I think. Or Joanne's, I'm not sure. But, and she was altering it to put these um, clothespins in it. To put lace trims. And as I said, that's the same thing that I did. I made this with the intentions of putting the clothespins inside with the lace. So it could just, because the box is so, so deep. So it fits perfectly inside. And on her box, she also had an image of Elsie. So I was laughing because I said, well, um, great minds think alike. So 
go check out Olivia Hernandez's video. She did an, an awesome, awesome job. Her layering is just amazing, everything she does. So please go down there, check her out, and um, hit that like and subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you guys in my next video.